Today we're going to do an analysis of tariffs. <clears throat> Once again, the PowerPoint is thanks to my professor, Brennan West at Fair University. Okay, so analysis of tariff. For those of you who may not know, a tariff is a tax that uh, the government imposes uh, on imports coming from other countries in order to protect domestic producers. <laughs> Notice I said domestic producers, not consumers, because actually tax tariffs hurt the consumers and benefit the producer. So, there's two specific taxes that we're going to discuss here. The first one is uh, it's called a specific tax uh, tariff, which is simple, a money amount per unit of import. <coughs> so, as the example says, $35 per ton of slab of steel or per apple say we import apples or per car Honda mm. and then a valorum tariff is a percentage of the value of the import so if you're importing a Mercedes Benz and the value of the Mercedes Benz is 50 grand 20% 50 grand and you tax that out of the import now it's just a little statistics here they're giving you that um tariff tax on non agricultural products are relatively low in 2004 was between 2.5 and 4 percent uh taxes and and in china's economy mexico's they're usually a bit higher 10 percent or 50 percent for non agricultural products and this is a, a rule for everything tariffs on agricultural products are generally higher I really don't know why but I'm guessing it's because maybe we in the US and some other countries fill our meat with hormones and our vegetables hormones to make them grow faster and other people don't want that in the food so <clears throat> they charge a lot <laughs> they tax a lot so um we're gonna start with a simple analysis first of the of the pro producer how the surplus is affected when a tariff comes in and then we'll do one with the consumer so in this graph we see there's a simple demand and supply supply for the domestic supply curve and the, the domestic demand curve this is um with no trade with no tariff free trade everybody trades whatever they want no taxes so how much is being domestically produced if the supply line that will be B we will have 0.6 million or 600,000 being produced what area represent producer surplus that's easy. that's easy this is all 10th grade economics this is the world price line was below and above the supply line for this area here you can calculate that by either looking at multiplying the area of the of the of the triangle, I mean, three hundred minus two ten times point six divide that by two, or you can just draw this into a square and just find the area of the square and then divide it by two, whichever one is easier for you. And what is the level of imports? Well, the difference between what is being produced, what is what is being consumed. Here we have a, a shortage, so the difference is going to be made up by imports which will equal 1 million exactly <clears throat> now let's add a tariff in this government imposes a tariff of $30 let's say it's a specific tariff $30 for everything as you can see the price line went up by 30 producers gain in the surplus because they, before they had G and now they now they include a so their surplus which was originally this little triangle now went up to this big one now how how much producer surplus was gained by the tariff well just calculated the same way now with 330 minus 210 and what is the new level of imports now imports actually were constricted now instead of being 1 million like it was before is 0.8 minus 0 0.4 which would be 0.6 yeah 0.6 okay so 0.6 million and as you can see there's still a shortage but the imports are now more constricted now with the analysis 
let's talk about a small country case. For those of you who may not be studying international economics, a small country is a country that doesn't dictate the price or has no actually has no effect on the international trade ratio. It can affect the trade ratio. They cannot change it whether they trade or not trade. So they're basically stuck. They're in the hands of all the other large countries. A uh, little fact, when the government places a tariff on imports, the domestic price of the imported product rises. That's normal with imports and tariffs. And domestic consumers will end up paying a higher price or buying less of the product. Or, which happens most of the time, both. And simple rule of life, tariffs make um, consumers worse off and producers better off. That's no surprise. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's, let's analyze now how the consumer gains or loses. Mostly loses, but let's see. The, the, the same analysis we just had, um, how much is the domestic um, consumers buying? They're buying 0.6. The producers are only pr producing point, um, they're buying 1.6. Producers are only producing 0 0.6. So, the difference, which is 1, will be made up of imports. Simple. Consumer surplus, okay, the area below the demand curve and above the price line, which would be F, C, E. See, they have a huge amount of surplus. That's good. But let's see what happens when uh, the tariff comes in. So you can see, government imposes a tariff. Now, first of all, the consumers are worse off because they, the, they just lost A, B, C, and D. Before, they used to have F, C, and and E, now they have F, H, and G. They clearly lost all this. And who who gained? The producers gained a, C. Let's call this um, F, this little triangle here, and A. So they gained that. Um, what area now represents the consumer surplus? The one I, I showed you, and how much of the consumer was lost by the tariff? simple just calculate the area of here which, which is really not hard like 330 minus 300 and then just find out the difference between 1.6 multiply it and that will give you that um later on i'll explain what a b c and d actually mean because they mean something not everything goes to in the small country case all the taxes go to the consumer but we will analyze the large country case which the taxes will be shared and depends on the elasticity of the supply curve and demand curve we will see where the taxes actually fit to more the producers or the consumer so I'm gonna pause this right here and we'll be right back <coughs>